slow fashion is a reaction to the fast fashion movement. It's an effort to stop the complex supply chains, the overproduction, and excessive consumption. In the past, big retailers have released two collections, but now they produce 52 collections or micro seasons per year. This has resulted in optimizing certain aspects of the supply chain. The clothing has to be designed and manufactured quickly and inexpensively for us, the consumers, to buy at a cheap price. The pressure to reduce these costs and speed up the production time undoubtedly has been linked with negative environmental impact, water pollution, use of cheap and toxic textiles, unfair wages, just to name a few things. You might have heard of the documentary True Cost. This was such an eye-opener for me and really one of the reasons why I started researching about slow fashion. I highly recommend watching it if you want to get a better insight on the social and environmental impact of fast fashion. Slow fashion is a movement opposing fast fashion business model. It emphasizes creating, designing, and purchasing clothing for longevity. Often using high quality materials that will hold up over time with minimal carbon footprint. Materials like linen, organic cotton, recycled materials. In addition to being environmentally friendly, I love that slow fashion draws attention to producing clothing in-house or locally, which gives full control over the supply chain process and labor conditions. Ethically speaking, there's no doubt that slow fashion is more in line with my own values. However, in the beginning, one thing that was a little bit off-putting was that it seemed like a very niche market. At a glance, slow fashion can seem like it's about having a certain style or wardrobe, only buying handmade items from boutiques, or buying only from sustainable fashion brands. Even some buzzwords surrounding slow fashion can be intimidating, like ethical fashion, sustainable fashion, capsule wardrobe. I felt really overwhelmed at first, but doing more research on slow fashion I realized that it's not so black and white. Of course, there's a lot of crossovers with these subcategories, but overall, slow fashion is about reconsidering our relationship to our clothes. It emphasizes more about how we shop instead of where we shop. We can practice slow fashion at any budget. Of course, there's not only one way to do this, but this is how I approach slow fashion. I think it's critical to shift our mindsets from instant gratification and materialism to a fashion habits that are a little bit more gentle on the planet and also on people. I wanna share with you some easy and practical tips that may help you to get started in the slow fashion journey. If you have a tendency to shop frequently, it might be helpful to know what triggers you. I had to unsubscribe from all the marketing emails. I would get so many alerts about promotions, deals and sales, and even if I didn't need something, I always felt tempted to buy because it was such a good deal. For you, it might be going to the mall, window shopping, or online shopping when you're bored. Whatever it might be, it's important to know our shopping habits and set ourselves up for success. It's incredibly difficult to stop the urge to buy if it's out of habit, so it might be helpful to remove ourselves from the situation altogether. This is a really great way to buy high quality items at a very low price point. If I feel like I need something in my closet or I need to replace an item, I always try to look at the consignment stores first. Uh, we don't have too many here on Maui, but the ones that I always go back to are amazing. I try to pay attention to the quality of the clothing, looking at the construction of the garment, the stitching, making sure that it was made from natural materials. 
materials like cotton and linen they tend to wear a lot longer and make sure that it was well taken care of not only do i shop at these vintage stores but i try to donate my old clothing to them as well this is a good first step to help recycle useful items that might otherwise end up in the landfills I'm always surprised at how many outfits I can come up with by just mixing and matching and accessorizing my outfits. It can instantly refresh the look without having to spend any money. For outfit inspiration, Pinterest is a great resource. I can look up any item in my closet and it shows me so many different looks and ideas that I can try out. This is so much fun and a good way to be creative and to make use of all the clothing in our closets. Whether we are shopping from H&M or Everlane, as long as we are taking care of our clothing, I think it can help us to wear it for more than one season and make it last a long time. Wish lists are not overrated. They're a very simple yet powerful tool to help us make careful decisions when we're purchasing something. I use an app called Shop Tagger, and if I'm shopping for a new item, I will tag it and put it through the test of time. I notice that I will either change my mind or end up not needing it at all. And it's just helped me from making irrational decisions and those impulse buys that happens to everyone. Building a wardrobe doesn't happen all at once. I am still getting to know my personal style, but I am enjoying every step of the process. I try to pay attention to what shape, color, cuts, and sizes look good on me so that I'm less likely to make mistakes. Also, paying attention to my lifestyle has been critical in my shopping. I work mostly from home, so I'm indoors a lot. If not, I'm out with my dogs, outside exploring the island, so very casual, very laid back, and my closet has to reflect this. Knowing our personal style will help us to narrow down our spending to only what suits us and our lifestyles. Now, when I see a cute item that's not my style, I don't feel the need to buy it. I can enjoy looking at it or just appreciate it on someone else. Everyone's path to a conscious closet is going to look very different, but if we slow down and adopt some of these slow fashion habits, I think we will not only see a direct impact, but can influence the path of the big retailers as well. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments if you have any slow fashion habits that you practice. I would love to know. And if you are new to my channel, then welcome. My name is Sophie and I make videos every Tuesday and Friday on slow living, minimalism, and lifestyle design. If you wanna be updated a little bit more frequently, you can follow me on Instagram at Malama Life. And until next time, take care guys, bye.